Senate Republicans on Capitol Hill are getting ready for what's expected to be a quick confirmation hearing for President Trump's nominee to replace the late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Good evening, I'm Vanessa Van Hefty. As ABC's Alex Perche reports, the four-day hearing for Judge Amy Coney Barrett will begin tomorrow, both in person and virtually. A dizzying and contentious week ahead on Capitol Hill when confirmation hearings begin to fast track Judge Amy Coney Barrett to the U.S. Supreme Court. GOP Senator Lindsey Graham, the chairman of the Judiciary Committee, telling Fox News Sunday President Trump's nominee to replace Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg could be confirmed a week before Election Day. That's my hope. Uh, it'll be up to Senator McConnell what to do after the 22nd, but we can easily get her confirmed before the election. The Judiciary Committee's hearings are expected to take four days, with senators asking questions in person and virtually. This after two members of the committee tested positive for the coronavirus. Democrats were hoping those COVID-19 cases would delay the process. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer indicating they could employ other tactics. When the actual vote occurs in committee and on the floor, Democrats will not be not supply the quorum, period. That move might not actually have any impact on the timeline. GOP aides telling ABC News the committee chair could simply move to vote, even without any Democrats present. President Trump has repeatedly said he wants his nominee on the court before the November election in case results are contested. This is a moment unlike any other because this nominee comes before us with serious conflicts of interest. If confirmed, the conservative judge would tilt the ideological balance of the U.S. Supreme Court. Barrett is known as a devout Catholic, a supporter of anti-abortion causes and pro-Second Amendment. In her opening remarks from Monday, obtained by ABC News, Barrett writes, quote, Courts have a vital responsibility to enforce the rule of law, which is critical to a free society. But courts are not designed to solve every problem or right every wrong in our public life. Alex Perche, ABC News, Washington.